Hi, welcome. I'm Dr. Olushola Ajide. Uh, in this video, I would like to address five important things to do after you have submitted your thesis for Viva and you are planning and preparing for Viva. Now, these are very important things I, I, you need to do. Now, number one, the first thing you need to do after you've submitted your thesis is to ensure you go through what we call possible viva questions. You could find quite a lot. I know that uh, during my time I found one naughty viva questions on, on online. You could also, in addition to naughty viva questions, go to YouTube channels that address and talk about the viva process. It is depending on which country you are having your viva in, either in America or here in the UK or in Australia. You need to know how does it hold when you are having the viva. That's number one. Number two, which is very important, is that ensure that you have a mock viva in which you make presentations. Now, it could be with a mock viva organized by your supervisory team in which they make a presentation and they ask you questions or your colleagues. Find two, three or four of your colleagues and make presentation and they critique and ask questions about your presentation which is, will prepare you towards your viva. Number three. Now it's important um, which one of the things I did during my time, somebody gave me that tip and I used it is to have what I call an addendum to your thesis. Now, after you have submitted, don't rest. Go through the old thesis again and make corrections. Now, the way I handled that with my own thesis after I submitted was to go chapter by chapter, page by page. And I, I did a documentation and I did page number, what was it before and after I have corrected the correct what was corrected and I went chapter by chapter on the day of my viva the first thing I presented to the examining team was 22 pages of corrections already made to the TC and I know you know it it went a long way to you know to ensure that most of all the typos that could have been given as a correction has already been settled or dealt with so Ensure that number three, after you've submitted your thesis, awaiting Viva, ensure that you continue corrections. Make all the typo corrections. Make all other you know, semantic corrections or content corrections or lengthy sentence corrections. Ensure you do that. It will help keep you, you know, prepare you towards the Viva date. Number four, it's important that you go through the administrative, what I call administrative issues. Where is the venue? You must know the venue of, and make sure you go to the venue of your viva before the date of your viva. Ensure you know the venue. Ensure you know the, the arrangement within the venue. And as you know the arrangement, know the timing. Ensure that you also know the timing. Some people suggest that if you have, need a cup of water, Ensure that also you have, if you want, a glass of water, a bottle of water. Very importantly to this number four is also the fact that you must ensure you have a draft, a copy of your thesis. Because as you've been asked questions, you need to make references. Ensure you have a copy of your thesis, you know, with, with you. Now, this is very important. That's number four. And number five. Prior a day to the day of the Viva, ensure you have enough rest. Ensure you that you actually take time to sleep. I know it could be very daunting, and I know I experienced it in my time, but you, it's possible. Ensure that you find time to sleep, that you can get enough rest. So that when you wake up in the morning on the day of your Viva, you are refreshed and you are ready to make your presentation. And ensure that you find ample rest trial a day before the fiber so that on that day you are fresh and you are good to go to make your presentation and get your PhD. I hope these five tips 
has been helpful to you. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and I will be bringing you more tips. If there's any topic you want me to cover, suggest the topic and would uh, do that and you to be beneficial to you. Don't forget, the aim of this channel is to help you get unstuck in your writing, edge towards completion and graduate. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.